Super Tucano here, going up for the first time. Uh, take on 670, see that on the other video I made uh, where I did the amp draw test and the uh, watts. So, all right, let's take it up, maiden flight. You're on. All right, here we go, maiden flight. Keep her high just to get her right. good power she's not a super speed demon but she's good man she's smooth man. yeah like really smooth hey this is no gyro no nothing how's the cg perfect like i haven't had i had to actually give it up for uh up not uh well yeah, then, well, yeah up trim yeah yeah so. but it was only two clicks and then i took one off so really just like one click Sounds good. Alright. You know what I was a little bit scared of was like the uh, motor angle, right? Because it wasn't. Oh, yeah, the, the thrust? Yeah, the thrust yeah. angle was just. Well, here, here try, uh, just try and invert it, see how much down elevator you need. That will kind of give you a, oh, a, lot. a lot, yeah, see, so probably, yeah. probably your CG is, yeah. I'll see where I, the battery comes down now. Well, you I can do a 45 up and then, yeah. and then throttle out and see what it does. I tell you what, that 126E, it, it's what's making it just fly like nice and smooth. You know what I mean? Like, it's not as fast as I thought she was gonna be, but she does fly nice. Oh, I'm guessing it's, I mean, I can't tell in the video, but yeah. it sounds like it's going 100. Uh, pretty close. I'd say about 80, 85 maybe. But this is the thing, like, so right here, I am a little bit under, under half throttle. You know? Nice. Under half throttle right there, huh? That was nice. She's got, got plenty of torque. I think I can still tone down the race a little bit. Let me look, let me do a quick. Uh, it's okay. Let me give myself a little more expo feel a little until I get more comfortable with it. Where am I at? 38 seconds? I'm gonna start preparing for a landing just in case. Because I'm on a 4,000, even though I haven't been flying yeah. it much. Look at the gear. Oh yeah, it came down perfectly. There's no flaps on this, so. Oh man. I need to test to see if she gl glided good, you know? Oh, that's bounce. good. A little bounce. Yeah, okay. a little fast. Yeah. Still on the runway. Yep. Yeah. All right, you know what I had to do? I had to cut the throttle there all the way, right right when I hit. She bounced a little bit, but it wasn't bad. A little crosswind too. Oh, that's what, that's what knocked her over a little bit there. Yeah, see we got a little crosswind here. Not bad, just a little bit. Made in flight, super Tucano, I can't be happier.
What a great flying plane. Let's see the battery right now. Take a quick picture of it. Let's see where we're at with uh, with uh, voltage. Okay. What's your hobby like? Oh. So here's the Phoenix model Super Ducano. Final thoughts on this bird. I am impressed. Um, at the time when I bought this, it's on back order now, but at the time I bought this, um, it was a solid, uh, what, 158 bucks. Tower always has some sort of, uh, Tower Hobbies always has some sort of deal. Uh, 15 bucks off. At the end of the day, I paid 155 bucks to have this thing shipped to my house. And the finish, the quality, everything on this plane is amazing. Um, as, as you've seen in previous videos, it's got a take on, uh, it's 46, 670 KV. 100 amp V good ESC from Get FPV. I flew it on a 4000 HRB 60C pack. Uh, I am going to have to build a little extension for the battery plate um, in order to get that CG back. She was a little bit nose heavy on the video that you just saw. Um, but overall, final thoughts on this thing it's amazing. It flies great, flies very much like a trainer. Um, I did come in a little fast, and on the second landing, it came in a little slower, but still pretty fast. Um, it doesn't have any flaps. It's just a full span aileron, but it's a wonderful plane. It looks fantastic. And in person, it looks even better. I ended up using the, Futu the Futura gear from the FMS Futura. I crashed one, so I just used that gear. Uh, and it, I, I thought at first it wasn't going to work because of the weight of the plane, but it actually did pretty good, as you can see in the video. It held up pretty well. So... Anyways, I highly recommend this model. If you've never built a balsa, so this is my first more intricate build balsa where I had to do landing gear and all that stuff. The only other one I did is, a, I have a video of it, is an S-Box from Hobby King. And that is a great plane, um, amazing plane. And I, I, I feel like I did a pretty good job on that, but there was no landing gear on that. It was a lot easier. The servos were out in the back. Very easy build. Um, but on this one, on mistakes I made on that one, I was able to correct on this. I asked a lot of the guys at the field, um, uh, in particular Juan and I, I and I and I got a lot of input too from uh, uh, Shay from Hamilton's Hangar, and um, came together very well. I uh, flew it, flew it yesterday. I'm about to fly it again. I actually have an itch to fly this thing. It is so awesome in the air. It looks so good with the nose, the way the nose looks coming in. So once again, I highly recommend it. When they come back in stock, we want a good, nice, decent size. I mean, this is like 62 inch wingspan um, aircraft. This is it. Uh, Super Tucano from Phoenix Models. Uh, you can get it at Tower Hobbies. So, anyways, how'd your hobby life?